Hello friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I am so glad to have you here. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. So I was making myself some acrylic blanks. And then it dawned on me, I was thinking, oh, you know, I bet you that not everybody knows that you can do acrylic blanks using your Cricut. So when I used to use my Air, I did acrylic blanks using the um using the air with with the deep point blade and now with my maker i use the knife blade sorry i'm setting my setting my sheet up again because i had finished making them when i thought about the fact that i should show you guys so so for my maker, I like to use the knife point blade. And now I do a basswood setting. And the basswood setting has it go through 14 passes. And I will generally go on and hit just a couple extra passes just because. Now, when you're cutting acrylic, doing acrylic blanks, you have to have... A thinner acrylic and this is what I use so I haven't tried a lot of different ones because this works really well for me I get this from Amazon it ranges anywhere from $9.99 to $14.99 it has 20 sheets in it so you know basically you know 50 cents to 60 cents a sheet depending on what my image is, I can put, you know, basically depends on how many pieces I can put on there. But, you know, it usually ranges between 10 and 20 cents per acrylic blank when I'm making it. So just a rough estimate. And you know with Amazon, how their, their prices, it's so weird. Like their prices change on a regular basis. But I'll go in and find this and I will attach it in case you're interested in it. Now, normally when I'm showing you guys stuff with my Cricut, I use my iPad just because it's easier and I like it. But when you're using the knife blade, you can't use the iPad. The knife blade is only compatible with using the program on your regular computer. So I'm using my laptop for this. And there's several things that you can do with your laptop that you can't do with your iPad. But I love using the iPad because I think it's so easy. So I just went in and I put in my shapes and I'm gonna put make it. Now on my mat, because of the size of my piece of plexiglass, I just want to, want a little bit of space in between it. So sometimes this, the acrylics are, you know, they're, you have to get them started to, um, sorry, concentrating. You see how I just sort of turn that to make it fit well? Now, sometimes with the acrylic blanks, you know, once you get them going, you have to, you know, sort of bend at them a little bit to get them started. And especially because, like, for me, I like to keep the plastic on them. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, I'll pull a piece out. We'll put it on our mat. I use the Strong Grip mat. For this and see it's got like uh, this plastic coating over it to keep it protected and I like to leave that on so sometimes you have to sort of bend it a little bit to get it going and that's just sort of how it goes now with this let me move it so you can see it I'll put this up for a second so I've got my acrylic on and then I like to use some painter's tape 
and I just make it a little bit more secure with a piece of tape. All right, and I've got my knife blade and my Cricut and the, this rotator housing, all right? So I'm going to just put my mat over there. Now, I am going to be going to Basswood, and Basswood passes for 14 times. And then I like to, like I said, I like to go in, hit it a couple more times just to make sure, all right? So I'm going to go. Now I'm going to put it on fast mode. And then once it's done, I'll hit it, you know, a couple extra times just for good measure. And then we'll take it out and I'll show you what I mean about, you know, how you have to sometimes sort of get it going to get your piece off. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I only ended up doing two extra passes. We'll see how they come off. I'll take the tape off. All right, pull this up. Now, what I mean by sometimes you have to get it started. So for me, like I kind of like bend it a little bit around because it doesn't, it doesn't just pop right out. But once you get it started, it comes out just fine. And sometimes it's because of, if you see, the plastic is still on there. So sometimes it's actually that it has a harder time cutting the plastic protector than it is your thing. Oops, and I sure did break this one. It's hard to do it and show you at the same time. But this one I'll still use. I'll just use it for epoxy instead of... Um, you know, without epoxy. Okay. So sorry. Sometimes it's really hard to like show stuff because of how I have to be with the compute with the camera. All right. So, so like I said, these just you kind of have to work them a little bit. All right. So there's that guy. So here are my final blanks. And then this one I cracked a little bit right there. No big deal though, I can still use it. 
So, yeah. So, they really are not hard to do. I know it looks like it might be challenging to get them out, but it really isn't that big of a deal at all. So, this is this is a really nice way to be able to just make your own blanks. So, if you use a lot of acrylic blanks, or, you know, if you don't, even if you don't use a lot of them, you just like to have them sometime. Anyways, listen, I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, friends. And I would love to have you as a subby friend. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so be safe. See you later. Bye.